All right, we we'll read for the two now. Um, pause the video and do this, and uh, you should be able to do this within a minute. So take a minute to do this. All right. Well, you have done it and come back. What did you get? And by the way, you have just passed question forty. What um. What's your score so far in terms of how many questions did you get out of the first 40? Hope you've been getting well over 20. The more the better. If, you've been, if you have got more than 30 questions and you did them within time, then you're well to go. And by the way, now that we've reached in the forties, once you pass question forty, you know, you would be two thirds way into the into the exam. So you would sh you should have covered at least two thirds of the time. You have ninety minutes, so that's what thirty and thirty, sixty and thirty, ninety. So two thirds of ninety minutes would be. 60 minutes so once you reach question 40 it should be that you have um pass the one hour mark all right if you have reached question 40 and more than one hour have passed then you need to speed up you're running behind time if you reach this question, say question 42 and say about more say an hour and some minutes have passed, then you're on schedule, alright? So question 42 now. Let's look at this. The equation of the line C B is C B. First of all, you know that the general equation of a straight line CB is a straight line so it's y equal mx plus c where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept wherever the line would cut the y-axis or touch the y-axis now let's see what happened y equal what's the gradient of CB the gradient of CB is 0 Remember, the gradient is rise over run, you know. Would I go up and down, over run? But guess what? Going from C to B, it, the, you, you would neither go up nor down. If you're walking along CB, right, you would not be rising, you would not be falling. So, your gradient would be zero. So, it's zero X plus. Suppose you should extend CB. Where would it cut the y-axis? Let's see. If you extend CB back, it would cut the y-axis right here at 0. So it's y equals 0, x plus 0. So y equals 0. Alright? Which happened to be the x-axis? Uh, you notice it's lying right on the x-axis. So... The answer for 42 is A. That, is that what you got? Hope so. Alright, so see you in question 43 later.